Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K19 today. Got a new pink diamond moment card for you, and it's probably long overdue, but God, they sure have given him enough cards. Finally got a 47-point triple-double was the was the performance that did the trick. I'm just super excited. He will get a cover athlete pink diamond as well, so I'm very curious to see what the differences are going to be. And this card, along with all his other, other moment cards, I mean, which one's the best one? We'll have to see if this one's good. Who are we talking about? Boom! MVP G13. Unbelievable. 96 overall. Now, I know a lot of you are coming at me right away saying, Where's Russell Westbrook? Why aren't you doing the duo? He's a pink diamond. He may show a pink diamond border, but that Russell Westbrook is no pink diamond, and none of you guys are going to use it. The only thing you'll get pink diamond Russell Westbrook for is to try him out for a game or two, and then he'll be right back on the block. Trust me, guys. It's not a duo, it's where it's too little too late for that duo. That duo would have been great like the first couple of months coming in. Russell Westbrook, the highest three ball he gets is like an 80, maybe. Um, and yeah, I just, you guys aren't going to use it. You guys aren't going to use it, so don't worry about it. 95 offensive, 99 defensive, 6'9", can really run 1 through 4 as I mentioned, hybrid. 5 Hall of Fame badges, relentless finisher, acrobat, posterizer, deep range, Jedi, tireless scorer. Got limitless gold along with some other good stuff here. Looking at the stats, 97's for the free throw, or for the free throw, for the layup. 82 post control, he's got not the greatest mid-range, but to be honest, I don't really take a lot of mid-range, so it's not a concern for me. 95's for all the three ball, looking great. Look at that dunking. Surprised he didn't get Hall of Fame posterizer with that dunking, but passing accuracy looks okay. Ball control is good enough that you can speak. Speed boost, 79 steal. You can get a good diamond shoe on him. You can get him in the 80s, and that's pretty good. 95 shot contest. He's got good rebounding. Definitely could run him at a stretch four. Great option for that as well. Good speed. The speed with ball could use a little bit of a boost, so could definitely consider that when picking out a diamond shoe. I mean, he is locked down defense. Locked down defender. This is like a better version of Scottie Pippen, in my opinion. But we have so many Paul Georges out. Is this the right one for you? And is it the best Paul George? Well... There's only one way to find out. Let's get some gameplay. What do we got? Regime. He's got a pretty good team here. Rock, Big O, Gervin, Scotty, Blake, Pow. It's not bad. All right, game number two. Paul George. Just got to do what you did the first game. Okay, coming all the way down. We're in. Looking good. Oh, my God. No foul. What is this? Draw foul. Zero. George gets a wide open lane. Oh, the posterizer gets postered. How's that, Blake Griffin? Back by Paul George going all the way up. I'm stopping. I'm popping. I'm putting it in my pocket, baby. Looking good. I like it. There we go. Coming all the way around. Dude, it is. <laughs> Woo! He dunks on everyone. Look at, the, look at that. Just look at the speed. Oh. Can't stop him. He can't stop him. All right, going right up to Paul George. Stop it again. Give it. Keep giving me room. Go ahead. Keep giving me room. He is absolutely killing it. I don't really know why he's trying to call a double team. He can't call a double team. He's just... All right. Might be time to take him out. Don't give me the space again. The space again. Oh, this first quarter is insane. Oh, God, stop it again. Stop it again. Oh, my God. Let's go. 21 seconds left. He just won't guard him. He just refuses. To... Okay. Seconds left. Plenty of time. Three, two, one. Or not. At the start of the second quarter, Paul George just had a 20-point quarter. That is insane, and he needs a long break, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. Unbelievable. Show him what's up. Come on. Come here. Come here. James Harden, you couldn't guard nothing. Couldn't guard nothing. Nice little move there. Nice little move there. Oh, look at the ball move. The ball movement's everywhere. It's everywhere, and it's paying off. Who is he not guarding here? What is going on? Who is he not guarding? What is going on? I don't know what this defense is. Kind of is, but not really. Where are we looking? He's sleeping. Yeah, he's running his own. And whatever this is, it's bad. Get out. Good block. Shaq is throwing it up. Shaq is on the move. It's stolen in two seconds. Rebound there. Running up. Run, 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 run. Looking out to Dr. J. Gets in. Operating. They're up to Josh Smith. Going over to the doctor. Doctor, stop it. Bop it. It's over. This is over. In Paul George. We already know what it is. James Harden. Why are you even trying? Dude, he literally might as well have posterized your badge. Paul George in again, dude. I don't know. This card is, uh, might be staying around. George is coming in. Back into Giannis, and he's playing. He's doing it all. He's assisting. He's dunking. He's being a team player. I'm throwing it up to Giannis. Giannis over to BG. Pop it. Pop it. MVP. MVP. 
Throwing it out to Paul George. He left too much space. You can't give him any room for its daggers. Plenty of time. Plenty of time. They yeah, go ahead and double team. Go ahead and double team. Lights out you. Three, two, one, Paul George. He caught it at the buzzer. Oh. <laughs> you guys update at halftime. 30 points. That's a new record. Two rebounds, two assists, 12 of 16, 5 of 6, 1 of 2. Yeah, he's outshining Dominique right now. We'll see what he's got in the second half. Start of the third quarter. I don't know how long this guy's going to stick around, but uh, Paul George will uh, knock him out, hopefully. Oh, Grail coming around. Back out to Paul George. Oh, I didn't see him right in front of me. He was right in front of me. Dad, look at that move. Look at that. Oh, oh, oh my God. Does he have posterizer? James Worthy going up. That's my favorite move. Out to Paul George coming in, looking out to Grant Hill. I, I mean, this is getting pretty bad. Massacre. Going up to Paul George, back up to Giannis. Giannis, stop, pop. Out to Paul George, Paul George coming in. Ooh, I thought he was going to make that kill. Good still throw it up to Paul George. Paul Jizzle. Paul Jizzle coming in. Paul Jizzle going in. Green lights. He's relentless. Nice job, Josh Smith. We're running. We're gunning. Looking out. See web Green lights. Boink. Down there. Let's go. Running up. Looking over to Karolinko for three. Bang. Steal there. Throwing up the barbecue chicken. Coming down. Shack this. Shack this with the midi. Shack this with the midi. We'll take it. Deal. Throw it up to Josh Smith. Let's get a little all-star weekend with the flashies. Oh, that was flashy. All right, guys. And that is all she wrote. I mean, we really didn't need a fourth quarter. It was getting out of hand. I was actually, I, I, I don't know. I just don't know what else more Paul George could have done. Probably could have gone for 60. But guys, that is going to be the gameplay. Shout out to my opponent. Let's go talk about it in the main menu. All right, guys, that is going to be the gameplay. Shout out to my opponent again. Paul George is great. I mean, he's as great as his diamonds. There's really not, you can't really tell like a huge difference, but you know the difference is there. The dunking is a, the dunking is a noticeability for sure. For sure, definitely. And I'm surprised he doesn't have a Hall of Fame posterizer. I was—I actually went back to check. Oh, he does! I'm an idiot! I'm an idiot. Excuse me, I'm an idiot. Yeah, posterizer badge works phenomenal. Just like the Dominic Wilkins. I can't believe... Wow, I look like a dummy. I look like a big old dummy. Because I was sitting there thinking he didn't have a Hall of Fame poster. I was like, this card is dunking way too much. And it works. It works on the Dominique in this card. These guys are posterizing left and right, and I love it. That because, so, I actually like this one the best, clearly, because it's pink. But those two badges alone do it for me. Posterizer and Deep Range Jedi. <laughs> yeah, and he really can't, he, he's really got kind of like the best of both diamonds. He's got a little bit of the rebounding, he's got a little bit of the steel. Granted, you could upgrade a few things in there. I mean, he's definitely room for improvements on this Paul George with the cover athlete one we should be getting, but it's a nice card. Definitely a 10 out of 10. Easy. Easy. And the price is still expensive. Well deserving because this is a very nice card. I picked mine up for about 290. I would like to see you try and pick them up somewhere in the mid 200s if you could. Somewhere around like 230, 260, somewhere in that range. But I don't know. It's a really good card. It's one of the elite cards we got right now, so... Yeah, I don't know, you guys have, I mean, we're just getting cards, we're getting, the problem is right now is we're getting a lot of expensive cards at a high consistent rate, like they're dropping bombshell after bombshell right now, we got Dominique, that came out yesterday, that card's a whopper, that one's like a 300 k. we got this card, that's right up there, right around the 250, 300 k. and then we got a freaking Kobe Bryant coming out tomorrow. Or at least we think he's coming out tomorrow. At least that's what Ronald says. Hey, you guys are going to go broke. You guys are going to have some tough decisions. Feel bad. You guys are going to have to really think about things. Really adjust and analyze your lineups. And really see who you need to invest in. So let me know out of the three cards if you guys picked up any of these. I say three cards because by the time you're probably seeing this, Kobe is coming out or is out. So let me know what you guys think. Are you adding any of these cards to your team? Are you waiting for prices to drop? Well, you shouldn't because they're not gonna. But anyways, 
Um, yeah, I'm excited for Kobe tomorrow. Uh, it's Valentine's Day. I'm hoping I can get something out for you guys, but you know, I got a wife, and uh, they don't like to watch their husbands sit around and play video games on Valentine's Day, so I'm hoping I can get something out. But I can't promise anything. But other than that, guys, I love you. I'm going to try the best I can. And if you enjoyed the video, leave the video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button if you're new. It's right down there. That big red button. I know you keep watching. You keep coming back. I know you right there, that guy. I know you. You keep coming back and watching. Why haven't you hit subscribe yet? Come on. It's not going to hurt anybody. You know one's got to know. And Richie Nation. Party on.